Hi guys, today I'm taking Winter Venera in Arena, and she will be paired with Tifa and Luel. Uh, these are units that have natural synergy with her, Tifa, because they both have strike attacks, they can chain together, Pugilistic Mastery from Winter Venera can increase Tifa's damage, and then Luel can increase Earth attack in, a, in AoE, and benefits from the strike attack up if she ever gets that from Venera. So they really have good synergies together in general. Uh, now, in this current map, there is not a lot of buffing going on. They're, we're all kind of separated by pits, so that synergy is not something we'll leverage as much as we would want, but I think it'll still perform fairly well. So let's clearly go over the team uh, quickly. Tifa has Monk sub job because I want her to gain defense penetration first, and then follow that up with Courage if she has time to cast it. She is built with a lot of defense because we are not relying on evasion for this build. She's got 41 defense, 6k HP, and 1000 attack, which should be enough to give her a good overall performance. If we're looking at her resistances though, nothing incredible there. Uh, she will die quickly the second she gets hit, uh, especially if it's an enemy with defense penetration or a magical based enemy. Uh, Winter Venera, 7000 HP, 49 defense, can increase that with some of her abilities, and 16 spirit. She has overall good resistances, mainly to magical attacks and to lightning, so if she's fighting a Cloud or a Charlotte or anybody like that, she will not be taking a lot of damage. Uh, we're using her as a ninja sub job, mainly because uh, it's the one that I think has uh, Doton, which is a range 4 move, she doesn't have a lot of those, and the other sub jobs, I'm not that sure. Like, if we fight magical enemies, I would love Spellblade, but otherwise it's kind of a waste to use these abilities, so I've decided to stick to my ninja sub. Abilities on off, uh, let's quickly go over those. In her main job, everything is on, but in her sub job, it's a little bit more complicated. I had to turn off Decider of Fate, and uh, Shuriken and Hyde, otherwise she kind of wastes some of her actions with those, I believe. Um, then finally we have Luel, she is also pretty tanky, 6000 HP, 1000 magic, 44 defense. Uh, she will die to any magical based attack. She has low spirit, high faith, and only so much magic resistance, aka none. But uh, against a Frederica or a Cloud, she should be doing just fine. She has the resistances to fight these guys pretty well. Uh, she is a Scholar and Rune Knight. I felt like using her as a Rune Knight right now. I usually use her as a Black Mage, but it felt like a good change of pace. Uh, and so these are the abilities on off. I have turned off Hazard Spell, and that's it. And then her main job, everything is on. She has a pretty good AI. Uh, for Tifa, I believe the only ability that I have turned off is uh, the TMR ability. Otherwise, she used that first, and I really wanted to give her the defense penetration first. Outside of that, everything is on. So with that said, let's go in-game. So let's begin with testing out against a very, very strong lightning team. They have maxed out VCs, they have a tank on top of other guys, but I don't know just how well Charlotte can tank our attacks. She doesn't have a lot of defense in their squad, mainly a spirit up uh, character. So she will survive the Wells attacks, but that's it. And then hopefully our Venera can survive quite a bit of punishment from them. Uh, she has 42% lightning resistance. If I wanted to, we could shove that 30% higher, get it in the 70s, but that would be at the cost of some other vision card. We would have to replace one of our VCs with the Golem vision card, and she would have to use, um, I believe, one of the MR units uh, TMR armor, so it would reduce her agility further. Uh, I believe that our uh, Venera's agility is so low that it's probably better off if we don't uh, change that, but maybe she'll need it against Cloud, I'm not that sure. So there we go, uh, Tifa does not get the um, stun on the enemy Charlotte, so she takes a pretty heavy attack from Charlotte, but she's still alive, so it's not that bad. Then somehow Frederica survives Duel's first attack by a very thin margin, and then gets killed by Venera. So far, so good. I mean, we are slowly taking apart the enemy team, Cloud has taken heavy damage, but now he's coming in, kills Tifa with almost 10,000 damage. That character is so insane. The damage he does is off the charts. Uh, but here we go, so uh, one more dead, now Cloud's gonna be able to triple slash her team, goes for the cross slash, and it barely takes away half of Venera's HP, while she has the potential to one-shot him, so not that bad. So we've seen the squad run against Mono Lightning. Obviously it's going to do well, we have two units with a element advantage, uh, but what if they have somebody like King Mont, a slightly different setup? They have all the Lightning VCs, so they're going for maxed out damage, uh, but they have a tank, which changes things around, and their King Mont doesn't even have a piece of armor. He's all about survivability. 
Um, he is in front of Tifa, however, so we could very well see Tifa kill him very quickly. I know how much damage Tifa can do to him, but overall, all our units have strike attacks, which is King Mod's main weakness, so I feel like we have a couple reliable ways to kill him. Uh, again, we just need to survive Cloud and Frederica's onslaught while that happens. Um, I'm not that happy about Tifa's initial turn as well. I think I'll turn off her TMR ability, just like I will for Luel, uh, because their other abilities will be much more important, especially in front of somebody like King Mont. I absolutely need my Luel to gain some defense penetration. If she had some there, she would have done significantly more damage to him. So that's something to take into account. Still, uh, Luel one-shotting Frederica, uh, Venera almost one-shotting Cloud, but not quite because she did not have the range to use one of her best abilities. Then we lose one, Venera resists the Disable, and then we are fairly good to go. Uh, Luel does insane damage, and we finish them off with a basic attack. So far, so good. Against a dark Moto squad, I'm pretty sure we'll just lose. Uh, they probably have more damage and survivability than we do. Uh, like, we will need the same amount of hits, but they'll have their AoE attacks, they have more agility. I don't see us taking an edge over them, but we'll see. Sometimes I say these things and I end up being very surprised. So Tifa has the ability change, which will be very useful if she ends up meeting Dwayne. Venera uses the blood pack, that's fine. We start poking Dwayne, but then the well's in range, so she might be in a lot of trouble. Uh, first attack, oh my gosh, they heal. That is not good for us. So we take a first hit on Luel, and then Venera is going to be able to follow up on that, but chooses to go for our own Venera, which was probably a bad choice. Doton on the Black Witch does not do much. Luel just decides to wipe the enemy Venera off the map, so that was very impressive. Then Tifa is able to follow up, finishes off Dwayne, and I guess this is looking pretty good. We somehow survive a hit from the enemy Black Witch. Proc Gift of Knowledge, now she's lost a couple barriers, and our own Venera is able to finish that. Okay, that wasn't all bad. Now this one, I think will destroy us. I've seen Freya Gilgamesh work, I've never seen them with Laswell, but I can imagine the crazy amount of damage that they will be able to do repeatedly. Also, we use Tifa, who is weak against them? I think Laswell will probably one-shot Tifa. Now, maybe I'll be surprised, maybe it'll work a little bit differently, but I am not seeing this one go favorably before it goes. Uh, what we do have for ourselves is the crazy damage output of Luel, uh, but against a Gilgamesh with uh, defense penetration, it could very well go wrong. Uh, so let's see, Fryavia has hate, that's fine. Um, the well increases her defense, but against the uh, Oldua TMR Gilgamesh, it's not that impactful, and she ends up losing half her HP from the first attack, so definitely looking scary. Tifa loses half her HP as well, and then Prox Courage immediately from Fryavia. Um, I wonder what Luel's casting right there. Love of Absorption heals her back a little bit, but will the Kotetsu kill her? No, but Paralyzing Edge will, so we already lost her, we already lose Tifa, yeah, never mind. It is as I thought, this enemy team is way too strong for us. We do take down one, but then Gilgamesh with his defense penetration deals crazy damage, and Laswell is able to capitalize on that. Not the greatest matchup, it's as I expected, but damn, the size team is strong. Let's finish our run with Black Witch, Cloud, Charlotte. I see this match very favorably, I don't think... Wait, I'm not picking the right team. I don't think the enemy Black Witch will deal enough damage to kill Tifa in one hit. If she doesn't, we should be able to collapse on her, like Tifa will use an ability that destroys all of Black Witch's barriers, and then whoever else on our team hits the Black Witch next is going to kill her. And then on the other side, Cloud and Charlotte should not be able to win against Luel and Venera. I don't see any way where this would happen, so I guess we'll see, uh, but this is probably a win. Uh, so let's see, Luel begins by using her own uh, um, defense up move, Venera gets a little bit of defense penetration, and then we get hit. So Tifa takes a lot of HP and then gets rid of the enemy Black Witch's defenses, just like we thought. Cloud takes away Tifa, that's fine, she's done her job. At that point, it's Luel versus Charlotte, and hopefully Charlotte does not drag hate. There we go. So we take away the Black Witch, it's Cloud versus Venera. Cloud has a lot of AP, but barely takes away a third of our HP. So far, so good. So we one-shot him with 8,000 damage with a de defense down move, and then Love Joe Absorption. We are setting up for the kill on Charlotte. She is out of AP either way, but Venera gets the finishing blow with a normal punch. So yeah, that was pretty clean. 
So that was it. Hopefully you found it interesting. I always love featuring units that not everybody's built, but for those that have uh, Winter Venera and are wondering if she can do well, yes she can. Obviously she performs a lot better against physical enemies that don't have a lot of defense penetration, uh, especially lightning units. She can have a lot of lightning resistance, so uh, that is a serious edge for her. Uh, but the amount of damage she does compared to the tankiness she has is really good. I don't think she's nearly as good as somebody like you are Zazan, for example, but she has her own niche where she's a strike attacker and has some really good synergy with other strike attackers or Luel in general. So yeah, hopefully you guys found it interesting. If you did, please like and subscribe. And then as per usual, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.